Hey guys, oh, I'm tired. It's two o'clock in the morning. Can't sleep. I think I'm going whipping. Yeah, I know. It's cold. I'm tired. Just can't sleep. So I decided I'm going to give this a try. I got these um, trapper, trapper tackle hooks. Got these from Charlie's Fishing Supply from my good friend Sukil. So I think I'm going to try this one, the number one. The number one looks pretty good. The the, the one aughts are a little bit, little bit bigger, but definitely thicker. So, but at night really doesn't matter much because the fish are nocturnal. They're not going to see that much. So, what I'm going to do is, okay, I got my little tackle set here. Um, probably going to try some CHL, which is complete view hook lures. Try some bugs. These are what they call bugs with the two tails on it. Try those. So in here, I got a little bit of everything. I got all the different leads and and beads and hooks and swivels and whatever else I'm going to need. And I want to show you this. This is something I've put together. This is my night whipping kit. Uh, in Hawaii, we call it whipping. I guess you guys mainly call it casting. But on my lanyard, I have a nail clipper for cutting line. I got my locking scissors. Not not for marijuana, but this is for locking down on the hooks to pull it out of fish. And, of course, my UV light for getting those grubs glowing. All right, because I like to use glowing grubs at night. Okay. Oh, I'm so tired. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use 10-pound test fluorocarbon line. When I use my leaders, I love to go fluorocarbon. So, um going go roughly about nine feet eight to nine feet on this great scissors always helps okay now on my rod here I'm thinking about using this Akuma 12 footer um, I might go with the TX 40 salmon steelhead I'm not sure yet on this one I have a um, 5,000 um, Stratic and all my other ones I have Nassies and um, um, other smaller Shimano's but I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet maybe a CI4 okay we got our 10 pound test floral so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put a swivel right here these are called black rolling swivels size number six uh, I stopped using the shiny ones because I think it does scare the fish away, you know. So we're going to use the black one here. Now to make this really fast, I mean you can double up the line, put it through there. It would make a palomar, but what I'm going to do is like pretend that the hole is so small that we're going to do is it's just going to go through one end, go through, put this back where we started from. Okay. Oh, everybody knows how to tie a palomar. If not, I have put out a video on it already. But we're gonna make this a time saver. This is a palomar. Okay. So we're just gonna quickly tie a palomar for the swivel, which is very very fast. And since this is ten pound, you really don't have to um, wet it down. Okay. Um, there we go. That's it. Done. Now, when when I use my um, braid, which is right here, this is the braid I'll be using. This is a uh, 10 pound test braid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the braid. I'm going to put one of these um, lead eggs on it. Depends where I go and what kind of depth I'm working in. And on the end of that, I'm going to put a, where are you? I'm going to use a pro dart, a ball bearing swivel. These are number threes. I think they're 80 pounds. Yeah, 80 pound um, pull on it is this one here. So I'm going to put this on the end of the, the braid coming off from the reel. And I'll, depending on the area I go to tonight, I'll select what type of weight I want to use. Okay, so now we got... The, the the black swivel on. Okay.
Okay. So what we're going to do is go to the end. We're going to put on a red reflected bead, glass bead. These came from Japan. Not too easy to get these. They're silver lined on the inside, so it's going to have a tendency to reflect a lot of light. See that? And on top of that, we're going to add on a size 3 green glow plastic bead. Right here. Add that on. And let's see. There we go. See, this is kind of like a little teaser. This is going to help you out at night. Then we're going to go with this one. We're going to go with the... Um, this is the smaller of it, the number, probably the smallest one, the number one. Okay. These hooks are slotted. See that? Um, it's not going to be a rolling type, so it's going to lock down your the, either your bait or your uh, lure that you're going to use, and it will hook up better to the fish and will stay hooked. That's what the company claims. Um, I've never used it. This would be the first time I'm going to be using this. Okay. So again, when you make your knot, you will start on the inside. See that? You will start on the inside. So let me see now. Okay. Put it through. Come back around. Go back to see where it came. Sorry that you can't see this that well. I would use thicker line just to show you how it's done but most people know how to make palomars I have done a video on making palomars including a modified palomar okay and so I use my scissors here you can use anything you want to kind of cinch that knot up, all right? And it's not bad. Okay, cut off the excess, like so. All right, now this is a, we call this a bugs. Instead of a flat tail, this is a bugs, okay? So what you do is you, you want to catch it at the first, see the, see the first rib there? That's where you want to put it to get the best reaction out of it. See that? So you're going to put, you want to get it down in that little notch. So there it is. That's all you have to do. Now when we attach this here to the rod this will be coming from the rod we're gonna put it here like this now i've tried this by itself and i tried this by itself because it's not that heavy it's very light the the, the braid has a tendency to twist twist up a bit but i found that if you combine the two you don't get that twisting so the braid stays normal that's the problem when you deal with very light material. Heavy material, you don't have to worry about that. Now, look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Now, what I do is I write on a piece of cardboard what I just did. So, right here, it says 10-pound floral trapper number one. This is the number one size. So, what I do is I put the hook through the side corrugations like so okay and I cut these little slits see that so I'm just gonna twirl this on this is roughly eight and a half nine feet I kind of know already what I'm doing and in, in a bag over here I, ca I carry all these other types of um, 
lead is already made up, some with flies, some with grubs, daytime, nighttime use. I And I put it all inside a uh, Ziploc bag. And then I always carry all my excess material that I'm, I'm going to possibly need out there. Then everything else that I need when I currently catch a fish is right here. So I, I try to be as well set as I possibly can. So this is what I'm going to use tonight. I'm going to fill up another one with the, the one aughts. And when I go tonight, I'm going to have a huge arsenal. And I'll never run out of anything to use. So, so this is what I'm going to use tonight. Oh, I'm so tired, but I can't sleep. I just need to go out there and catch some fish and have a good time. See what happens.